I recently watched a, uh, a video on YouTube from a, a high school science teacher. He had been having some trouble getting approval to get a pool table in his room uh, to teach some physics experiments, and he decided to build a vacuum-powered ping-pong ball cannon. Uh, and I showed the video to a friend of mine who's a mechanical engineer and uh, also teaches at a high school. He teaches at an industrial high school. And he decided to go ahead and put one together himself. So this is what he did. First he started with a length of, I think it's five foot or six foot piece of PVC, clear PVC. Uh, he put a fitting in it so he could attach a hose to it. And that hose is attached to a vacuum pump that will draw a vacuum in the tube. Uh, inserts the ping pong ball, covers the ends with mylar, and then just basically seals the mylar using a couple of PVC couplings. Uh, once the mylar, a vacuum is drawn and the mylar is punctured, the air will rush in and propel the ball down the end of the tube. Uh, what you'll see in the video is it does it really quickly. This is his rig. You can see the vacuum pump and the hose coming off, the ping pong ball and the mylar. Uh, what you don't see is a Coke can at the, uh, at the end of the tube. What's amazing here is the ping pong ball with very little mass to it is able to puncture the, the, the side of this can. What you're about to see is the ball actually hitting the can. Here's that same video, slowed down as slow as I can take it. Uh, you'll see the ball hit the can, but not a whole lot more. I decided to look at the video frame by frame, and this is actually a screen capture of the video editing software that I use. And you'll see there's two blue bars at the bottom is actually the video timeline and right above it is a blue line which shows the audio timeline. And What's really interesting here is you can see the ball exiting the frame and we haven't seen the sound arrive at the camera yet. And what this tells me is that ball is traveling faster than the speed of sound or 767 miles per hour which is truly amazing to me. Finally as an interesting side note my, uh, my buddy had actually calculated the speed of the ball uh, at 806 miles per hour. And to do that, he used um, a few formulas. The first one is to calculate force. And force is calculated as the pressure of the vacuum times the area of the ping pong ball times the weight of the ping pong ball in grams. From that, he's able to calculate acceleration. And acceleration is defined as force divided by mass. And then finally, you can get velocity from taking the square root of two times the acceleration times the distance, and the distance in this case was about 1.7 meters. Now there you have it, 806 miles per hour with a ping pong ball. Pretty cool.